Hello. So in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Nearpod and the features that can help it to be interactive and things that you'll be doing within lessons. So in this course, mo many of our Amplify lessons will be within Nearpod. This is a way that um, it's interactive and it kind of goes through a lesson and helps you to understand the scientific concepts as well as uh, gives you the opportunity to answer questions within the lesson. So it's really important to make sure that you go through all the slides, watch the videos, read the slides. If there's a web page, um, go into that um, website and look at the content, read the article if there is one, go through different things within the website. And this will help you in the course because the most important thing about this course is to learn the scientific concepts and to understand them. So it's important to do the assignments, but it's also important to make sure that you're understanding the material that we are learning in this class. So I'm just gonna show a little bit. So in sixth grade, we are studying the solar system. And so we're beginning with an introduction to the solar system, and then we'll move into our first Amplify model. So my model. <laughs> unit. Um, I was thinking about module and somehow I ended up getting mushified. So anyways, into the word model. Um, so I'm going to show you the scale of the solar system lesson and then just kind of talk through the uh, some, first of all, the interactive vid, um, slides that you could, can use or are expected to answer, and then the informative slides. And then, like I said, Amplify, we're not logging in to Amplify this year per se. Sometimes we will, but at this point, we're not going to. If we are going to use something from Amplify, you will go through um, a link that I click on and we're all gonna use the username and password that I show you. So um, here we go. So the other thing before we start this, I just wanted to remind you that when you come here, uh, when you want to sign into Canvas, go to LC, oops, that didn't, lcps.net and you will, once it comes up, you will go to student. There'll be a drop down um, menu and you will click on Canvas and you're going to have to sign in using your username and password from the, the LCPS. And I'm already logged in, so that's why it just took me to here. And so you will have to go to um, use your username, which usually is your last name and then your first name at lcps.net. And then your password should be LCPS with your cafeteria number. So now here we go. So the lesson is designed that, that the instructions are first. We have the essential, essential question, some directions perhaps, an overview, your lesson objectives, there could be vocabulary words, and there's also directions of how to sign into Nearpod. So here is Nearpod, and you're going to need to click into Google, and it's gonna take you to this page. And if you're signed in correctly, most likely you won't have to uh, sign, it, sign in because you were already signed in um, via the district through Canvas. So you'll join the lesson and it will take you to the first page. Now, I just wanna talk a little bit about some of the universal features of the um, Nearpod. Here is the immersive reader. So if you click on this, it will read the slide to you. You have to push play. Scale of our solar system. And then you can click back. Now, not most of the slides have immersive reader, but some of them won't. And so um, I sometimes try to put, also put my own um, kind of recording below on some of the slides that you'll see like a little button and it'll say play. Um, over here is a menu and you could take notes and then you can record them here. 
However, I really like think that the interactive notebook where you can write down information will be important because sometimes there is a connection between writing or there is a connection between writing and understanding and remembering things. And so it also kind of gives your hands a break because you'll be typing a lot it during online class. And so sometimes writing will use different muscles and that will help you all out. Um, Oh, down here at the bottom, there's a toolbar that says Open Notes Navigator, and this shows all the pages. So, um, like I said, I'm going to start with the interactive ones first. And so, the first type is an open ended question where there's a question and you can answer, you answer it like I put there are eight planets, or you could also record a video. So notice how I did this earlier and it saved because it knew who I was. Um, if there is a lot, you can always, there'll be a gray bar that you can scroll down on the side, on the right side, and you can click submit here. I forgot to talk about advancing through slides is this white arrow. It takes you to the next slide and um, going back, you can go to the previous slide, so, which is really helpful. And also so is this kind of navigation has the same sort of little arrows. Now on these slides, this one doesn't have it, but there can be a pop-up where you can click it and it might show a slide or perhaps sometimes I put pictures. I don't always do it, but look for that and see if, if that can be helpful at times. There, the quizzes are similar to this, where it has a question, you answer it, can be multiple choice, or it could be an open-ended question, just like this one. And you can pick, click submit, just depends on what I choose for the specific quiz. So now I'm gonna go to the seven, which is a collaborate board. And notice how there's many answers. Well, there's answers from many people. So you can click on here and make sure you write your name. So you would write uh, so that everybody can see because notice how not everybody can has put their names. So you don't know who it is. And if you want to have an opportunity to kind of talk to a specific person and ask them a question or make a comment about their comment, it's hard to do if you don't know who it is because it's not gonna be right next to the, the person, the person's comment. Um, this is great because it does give us an opportunity to have conversations, which is important in science to talk with each other, to have a, get idea, to listen to each other's ideas and to talk about science with other people. And this is one way we can do that on, in an online class. I see that. All of the pictures look different. So then you will click post and once you post it, you can notice that it doesn't look like it's there, but it's way down at the bottom because there's already something, somebody has already done it. I mean, somebody, other people have already posted. Um, and then you can like other people's as well. You can comment, like I said, and you can put images on pictures, on pictures, on the post as well. Now it's not great just to put a, a picture, make sure that you're explaining the picture. You could draw too and show a diagram and take a picture of it and post that as well. Um, and so let's go to the next type of, um, interactive uh, slide. So here this is, it tells us to draw something and you can go down this way as well. So this is asking to draw a picture of the planets. I'm gonna close the notes navigator and click here and it'll pop up the menu. Notice how I've already written. So I was drawing Mars, I didn't like it. So I, I changed, I erased it, um, I can, completely delete it from this button or erase from this button. And notice how you can get a larger or smaller eraser. So um, if I just wanted to get rid of this, then I could, right? I made it super tiny in the little dots. And let's say that I wanted to highlight, I'm gonna use the highlighter 
to kind of color in the Mars. So it's not, oops, I picked, somehow it picked gray. And then I'm gonna make it fatter. So I'm coloring in, it doesn't look very fat to me. So um, there's also text. So I have to click on the little book and a box will pop up to move it. I use these crosshairs and I move it around. If I wanna resize it, I can click, I notice how I have to get the littler arrow and I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I want. And I could type something here. I have to click on the box and I could put earth here. Oops, that doesn't look. And notice how that's really small. Well, I could highlight it. And then I can come back over here to the text and I can move the box. And now I realize that I don't have, I had two E's. And notice how you can't see the whole earth. So I have to resize that, the box, so I can see all of the text. So that's just ways that you can use the um, draw it, but you can, and you can also upload um, pictures or images. And, and that would be great. You could draw pictures in your interactive notebook, take pictures and then put them in here. So remember thinking about your own work as well. So if you're taking things from the internet, you need to make sure that you're citing what it is as well. And usually in draw it's, we would want you to, to do draw it on your own because we, I wanna see your, your thinking and your drawing about what you're thinking about in the scientific terms. Diagrams are really important to, to support your thinking. And remember a diagram is a picture with labels. So I'm gonna move on. Now that's pretty much, there's a couple other ones that you could kind of figure out um, as we go. There's ones that you can drag and drop or match. And oftentimes you're gonna to have to submit. Um, you click submit. Now, what we learned last year is that when you click the, the advance, it automatically saves what it was that was happening. But sometimes just for security, just to make sure because that may not always happen. Some people have lost their info to just pick, pick, click submit when you're done. And for sure on quizzes, do that in, in Nearpod. And so, like I said, a quiz is essentially like the essential question and, and that you answer and then you click submit or next as you go to the next um, question. It's kind of helps guide, the, the actual Nearpod helps guide you through it to some extent. And so the, there will be videos like this as well. And like I said, the, the, if you, the whole point of the course is to learn about the concepts of science and to understand how to question, talk with each other, make observations. And so in order to get the most out of it, you need to really go through the, the lesson in its entirety, just like you need to go through the whole module so the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. So I do want to show you also the um, if you were to have a link in about Amplify, then this is how it would look. So notice how there's um, vocabulary here as well. So that will help you because most often there's key, the key voc the vocabulary will be down there where you can then write it down. And then as you're taking, as you're going through the lesson, then it will, um, then you can write it down in your notebook. And remember, I will have like an interactive notebook check every once in a while to just see how your notebook is looking. Um, and so notice how here it says, hey, hey, you're gonna use the sim or simulation this lesson. You're gonna click on the link within the lesson. And then here's the username and password. So I'm gonna check in, log in to um, Amplify, join the lesson, and then I'm gonna find the slide where the link is to log into Amplify, which is right here. So notice how this is a link. I'm gonna click on this. Oops, I always forget. You have to kind of make sure you have the little hand. And it says, hey, whoa, you're gonna go outside of 
the Nearpod, you're going to get to an external website. Is that what you want to do? And you say yes. So there's always a safety if you're going to do things like that on the computer, right? So see how there's a multiple ways of logging into Amplify. We are going to log in with Amplify in this case. You're going to put A-M-P-S-C-I-1-2-3. You're going to do the same thing on this one. And then you're going to click log in. So this is the eighth grade. And this is the, the simulation that you're gonna use. Now, lots of times, you know, in um, games and technology and kind of things like this, it's kind of important to just play around and see what, what things can do. But oftentimes there'll be a video that shows you what to do. Sometimes you may have to kind of investigate first, see what you can find out. And then there'll be a video to tell you how to use it. And so that's the case in this lesson um, for eighth grade uh, this week. And um, in seventh grade, you'll also have uh, to log into the, have a link to log into Amplify. And that will be for the scale tool. And there will be a video within your lesson as well. So um, that's kind of about it for um, the, uh, how to use an AirPod. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or send me a message in Remind or um, text me in Google Voice. I hope you all have a great week and get lots of learning done. See you online and hopefully in my office hours.